Fellas, it is an exciting time to be a Nintendo fan. We have rumors of a Nintendo Direct this week. Pokemon Day is coming up in just a few short weeks. And then following that, we're probably getting a Switch 2 reveal in the coming months. But seeing as it is Monday, I wanted to do a video talking about the potential for a Nintendo Direct this week based on historical precedents, based on all of the Twitter news drops that Nintendo's been doing, but also talk about all of the insiders and what they've been hearing because... A lot of people are starting to have their doubts on whether or not we will get a full fat Nintendo Direct on February 7th. So today we're going to talk about that. Of course, if you enjoy Nintendo speculation, theories, discussions, all of this stuff, please subscribe. Let's get into it. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games, and today we are talking about the Nintendo Direct, which, for the record, I still think is going to happen this week. So I'm recording this on Sunday, Monday morning. I'm posting this. I would expect this Nintendo Direct to be announced tomorrow, actually, from when you're watching it. Usually they announce it 24 hours before now. They used to, you know, in years prior, do it 48 hours before. But recently, it's been just a 24-hour kind of time frame from announcement of the Direct to when the Direct airs the following morning. I think it will be no different this time. So I would expect a Nintendo Direct to be announced tomorrow morning. However, I do want to weigh the options here and talk about the possibilities that this isn't going to go exactly exactly as I'm expecting, as a lot of us are expecting, you know, the Direct could happen next week. It's a little bit later than what we normally get for Nintendo Directs in February. The past couple have been specifically in earlier February, but it is possible they do it next week. That is Valentine's Day, which is a little weird, but maybe that doesn't really matter. But for those jumping on the hype train with us for the first time, just to kind of catch you up here, we pretty much always get a Nintendo Direct in February following the release of Nintendo's earnings for their investors, and that is happening on February 6th. So considering that's happening on February 6th, we usually get February Nintendo Directs right after on a Wednesday. February 7th is looking mighty likely for a Nintendo Direct. I mean, just look at last year, their earnings release for investors came out on the 7th and the Direct aired on the 8th. So based on that, I mean, it's not a concrete thing, like you can't confirm there's going to be a Direct this week, but... It's looking pretty likely just based on how Nintendo has acted, how they have done directs in February and years prior. So I still think it's very likely we get one. But I do want to weigh on on whether or not they even need to do a direct because over the past couple of weeks, we've seen a lot of Twitter trailers where they just put the trailer out on Twitter. A lot of information coming out since late January. And that has made a lot of people think that maybe Nintendo's not going to do another general Nintendo Direct this year. Maybe they just go for the Twitter drop approach. They announce some stuff there through press releases, all that, YouTube trailers. And then maybe in March, we end up getting a reveal for the Switch too. But... I don't think so, because we see this happen every year where Nintendo announces a lot of stuff on Twitter and people always end up freaking out, and I don't really think this year is any different. So it started in late January, like I said, where they released a new trailer for Princess Peach Showtime, revealing the new costumes for Peach, and then around that same time, they also announced all the concerts that were supposed to be at Nintendo Live Tokyo, so the Zelda Symphony, the Splatoon concert, those were announced, which... I don't really think the concerts would have been in a Nintendo Direct necessarily, but I digress. And then they also announced, this is probably the biggest damning evidence, if, if anything, for no Nintendo Direct this month, or this week specifically, is that they announced the release date for Splatoon 3 side order. And then actually late last week, I didn't make a video on this, but I, I did play it, and I do want to talk about it a little bit. They released a demo for Mario vs. Donkey Kong, the new Mario vs. DK remake that's coming out on February 16th. So the Princess Peach Showtime trailer and the concerts and all that, I don't really think that means much in terms of a Nintendo Direct not happening. They always start marketing their March game in January. That's just usually how it goes. But I would put a little bit more stock into believing that the Splatoon 3 side order release dates and the Mario vs. DK demo drop, those could have been in a Nintendo Direct. Like, those would have been perfect to have in a Nintendo Direct. But I don't think those are substantial enough to discredit a Direct. Splatoon 3 side order... I think if that had gotten a full trailer that really showed in depth what the DLC is, that would be a different scenario. I mean, we already saw a decent amount of it in the reveal last September, but I think they need to show more of that. And if you actually watched the release date trailer for this, they basically showed nothing. I mean, it's like a, a minute long teaser that pretty much just gives us the release date and no other new information. So I feel like that still needs a big trailer to really show what the DLC is, show the scope of it, show all the new roguelike elements. So I think the fact that they didn't show more in this trailer all but confirms that there will be another trailer. So at the very least, I would expect another trailer for a side order to release before it comes out on February 22nd. And then Mario vs. Donkey Kong, I mean, this game is coming out so soon. It's a pretty budget remake. I mean, I think it's only like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, right? I don't know if that's something they needed to drop during the Direct, especially because we're talking about all these GameStop Amiibo restocks, how they might shadow drop Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess, or maybe they go the Metroid Prime route again and do Prime 2 or Prime 3, right? 
I don't know if putting out the Mario vs. DK demo after the Direct makes the most sense when you're probably going to have another major thing shadow dropped. Even if it's something like a Princess Peach Showtime demo, that game's a much bigger deal than Mario vs. DK for Nintendo. So maybe that's why they got that demo out of the way, right? I don't think I don't think a demo for this remake of a GBA game really cancels out a Nintendo Direct. But that's just my opinion on that. And also, since I didn't do a full video on it, I, I have to say... It's a very short demo that they released for Mario vs. DK. Really enjoyed it. I'm excited for that game. Now, I was I was going to pick it up, but I wasn't like actually like excited to play it. I also somehow completely forgot they're doing this whole co-op mode, so I'm excited to play that with my girlfriend. But yeah, that pretty fun. Good vibes. Very jolly vibes. Like, if you don't take it very seriously, you know, if you're not like all oh, Mario vs. DK is releasing instead of like a new game, it's a pretty chill time. And since I just mentioned Princess Peach Showtime, I think it's worth noting that that game absolutely needs more coverage. They could do that through, once again, YouTube trailers, press releases, whatever. But that game comes out in late March. If we don't get a direct this month, I don't, I mean, I guess we could get one in March, but that doesn't really normally happen. I think the last one was in 2018 for the full, for like a full general Nintendo direct. So Princess Peach definitely needs more, pun intended here, showtime. With all of that being said though, insiders have been saying some, some kind of weird stuff that maybe suggests that we aren't getting a Nintendo direct. Now, you know my opinion on insiders. I don't think they're the end all be all. Like, I don't think it necessarily means or confirms one thing one way or another, but when you have someone like Puro saying that they haven't heard anything about a Nintendo Direct, that's not a good sign. If you look at when Puro started leaking for the September Direct, and if you don't know Puro, this person has leaked the entirety of the past two Directs, essentially in terms of first-party announcements. If you look at the September Direct, I believe it was six days in advance that they started leaking it. They started teasing like another code of remake and, and these other things, right, and F-099. So... We're already in that time frame, right? We're already past that time frame. We're overdue for Puro leaks. Maybe by the time I post this video, he does say something. But the fact that Puro knows nothing about a direct, that isn't a great sign. It's possible that their sources got cut off, right? There's a million different scenarios here that would explain why Puro doesn't know if there's a direct this week. But that probably doesn't help the case for a February direct. I will not lie. You also have someone like Nate the Hate who runs a podcast and does a lot of Nintendo leaking and inside sourcing and all of these things. Nate the Hate responded to a tweet saying maybe there is a Nintendo direct next week and he responded not to my knowledge. So once again, Nate the Hate is usually right on the money with timing for Nintendo directs and he's usually pretty open. Like, hey, if I've heard something, I will share this information with people to let them know like, hey, this is when the direct is happening. So we have Nate the Hate, we have Puro saying they don't know about a direct this week. But then you go over and you also have this tweet from a Bill Bill Coon, who is literally never wrong. Bill Bill Coon is like Puro status and that this person is never wrong about things that they report. And this one's a bit more of a cryptic tease, but they said, looking forward to an indie game of my favorite genre. My credit card will be charged in less than 15 days so I can play it directly, all caps, and without waiting. And yeah, it may be announced during one of those two upcoming events. Now, this was tweeted before the State of Play, so we already kind of knew there was a State of Play happening at that point. It was very much rumored. So, State of Play, Nintendo Direct, they're putting all caps of the word directly. Now, there's been a lot of speculation on what this image could mean. I think the consensus is that it probably is for Penny's Big Breakaway, the new game from the team that made Sonic Mania, which is slated for early spring, so that would make sense, and it could be Shadow Dropped during the Direct. Once again, this person is never really wrong it is just them vague teasing like they didn't say yes there was a direct happening but mm, that seems kind of weird so it seems like insiders can't really seem to agree or kind of consensus of whether or not there will be a nintendo direct this week and once again like i said i don't put too much stock into it all however when someone like puro is saying they don't know anything that's definitely weird based on the past two directs where they leaked everything so time will tell insiders have been saying some weird stuff I do think there will be a direct this month. It could be next week. It could be on the 14th on Valentine's Day. That is possible. They have done directs in the like second full week of the month before and third weeks, right? So it's not impossible. I would still lean towards the 7th though, because like I said, we have their investor information releasing in their earnings call on February 6th. And the past couple of years, the direct has followed like literally a day or two after that. Either way, with their investor call happening, with Pokemon Day coming in February, and with a Nintendo Direct happening eventually, a Switch 2 reveal happening eventually, I think the next couple of months are going to be very exciting for Nintendo fans. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you expecting a Nintendo Direct this week, next week, or maybe not at all? When do you think we will actually get the final information on Switch 1 games? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, subscribe here if you have not already. If you enjoy Nintendo Switch discussions, theories, speculation, all of that stuff, follow me on Twitter at BotoxGames. Join the Discord that is linked down below. Low. And until next time, folks, peace.